Before designing a job, the first thing that you need to do is enter the job information. If you get in the habit of doing this as soon as you create a new job, you won't end up printing or sending reports that don't have this important information on them. To access a job heading window, you can go to the main menu under File, then Job Heading. You can also go on your keyboard, Control N, or you can go to the toolbar and click on the icon Job Heading. Select any method that works best for you. Once a job heading window appears, there are five lines on which to enter information. Make sure that the radio button Use Main Heading remains on. Sherwood Shelving requests that you enter the customer name on the first line as we use the name to distinguish the job along with your invoice number for the job. On the second to fifth line, you can enter any other information you may require for your own purposes. An example might be something like this. Let's say that my customer is Kyle and Lisa Brown and they live at 1234 152nd Street in Cedar Valley, Ontario. Enter the contact information. Do not enter too much information so that it becomes too long on each of the lines even though it looks like there's lots of room because the line is so long. If you enter too much information the text will actually push to the left across the page when you create a report. To avoid this don't enter more information than about half of the line. Now enter your invoice number that you will be using to invoice your customer. This will be your job reference number and Sherwood Shelving will treat this as a purchase order number when you submit the job. Let's say the invoice number is 8454. If you want, you can also enter the date you created the job and the due date. These dates will not be used for reference by Sherwood Shelving for any purposes. They would only be for your own reference. Making sure that you enter this information as soon as you start a new job will ensure that any reports you create will have this important information on them. This is an example of a printed report. Notice that the company information is located in the upper left corner with the customer information in the upper right corner. Also take a look at how this file has been labeled. It's a PDF file and I've used the dealer code, the invoice number, the last name of the customer and PO for a description of the type of report for purchase order.